Hello all you Mayhem Makers, I am Mindy with Quilting Mayhem and welcome back to another Mindy's Monday Mayhem Live. Today uh, we're going to talk about a couple things. So starting today we have launched our ticket to party. So <laughs> our nine year anniversary is coming up in just a couple weeks and so as kind of a lead up to that whole month of celebrating and partying, we've got a new promo coming out. So. Every day that you make a purchase of $10 or more, you're going to get a ticket. So we have these lovely purple tickets. If you come into the store, you know, we're going to tear them off and it'll be based on, you know, after any discounts, those kinds of things. For every $10 you spend, you'll get a ticket. You're going to need to hold on to it. Pretend it's a lottery ticket. You're going to, you're going to hold that thing uh, because twice in May, I will... Uh, announce some winners of some goodies. So we'll have like irons and wool mats and all kinds of fun stuff uh, that you'll want to win. And I will announce uh, the first one on May 6th on my Facebook Live. Uh, I'll have six winners then and then I will have another uh, seven winners. I'll have a grand prize winner after uh, the month of May is over and then more winners. So you're going to hold on to these. These are these are going to be your magic to, to winning things. You will need to claim it. So you'll go on to Facebook Live uh, that first time, Monday, May 6th. Check out our website. Uh, we'll post it in a bunch of places. But you'll need to, to let us know and say, hey, I want to claim my prize in the first three days uh, so that we can make sure all those goodies get distributed to lucky winners. Now, you can only win once. Okay, these are some of the things. Uh, because I want to make sure that one person doesn't win like all six things because they've got a lot of tickets in there. So we want to make it fair, make sure everybody uh, gets a chance to win. So there will be 13 total prizes uh, for the entire month of celebrating because of course we have our anniversary on May 1st, which will be a double ticket day. So you definitely want to shop and online purchases will qualify also. Uh, so if you're not in our state, we will send you your tickets to hold on to uh, so you can claim your prizes. And then on my birthday, May 23rd, uh, not only will we have more special promos and those kinds of things, but we'll have a triple ticket day. Um, so it will it'll benefit you to help us celebrate on our special days. So that is what has just come out today. If you get our newsletters, go read it. It'll give you more information. And that's what all these lovely little purple tickets are going to be. All right. And then, I, you know, <laughs> if you've watched our Wednesday uh, video or what's new Wednesday and maybe caught some of the mayhem that was going on there we are trying some live sales we are using uh, what's called video which is a sister company of comment sold so if you've ever done any live sales with other shops using comment sold uh, it's the same idea it might have been a little crazy a little hard to understand uh, I think we've got it figured out now but if you are watching the live video on Wednesday so this coming Wednesday we're gonna do it again and see if, if we can make it go better, um, you'll need to comment, if you're on your phone, you'll need to comment in the comment section. If there's something you want more information about, uh, just comment the word sold, and then it will give you a link, and then you can follow the link, it'll take you to our website, show you the product. It's easier to follow along if you're on a computer, so if you have a computer, you can then see it will automatically start posting our live on Facebook, it'll show video, it'll show me talking, and it'll have, you'll be able to do the comments and the links and those kinds of things and take you to our website also. If you miss it, if you're like some of us that work during the day, <laughs> you can always go to our website. And then if you go under our shop tab uh, and go one down, it says, uh, what's new Wednesday? And then you can go see the videos later on. So don't worry if you didn't catch it while it was live, you can still go watch the video. And if there's anything you're interested in, you can still click links. And as long as we have the product in stock, you can still buy it. So don't worry, there's multiple ways to see it. But this is how we're hoping to kind of show you new stuff in the store um, and, and talk about what's going on, those kinds of things too. But all the new stuff that we got coming in, because there's a lot coming in the next couple months for sure. Um, not just fabrics, but notions and patterns and, and all kinds of stuff. If you watched last week, I think I featured almost 30 patterns. And those are ones that have just come in in the last couple weeks. So we're trying to keep you more up to date with what's coming into the shop so you can see the new fun stuff. All right. But today is Monday. So we're talking tips and kind of other new things. And since it's still serger month, we're still focusing on some serger tips. Last week when Debbie was with me, uh, we talked about some, you know, whys. Why would you need a serger if you're a quilter? Because, you know, the myth is that a serger is just for making garments. You know, you're doing pretty seams on garments and that kind of stuff. Um, so why would I, Mindy Quilter, 
want a serger? Well, we talked about doing a flat lock seam uh, to put your batting together. So I'm going to demonstrate that. It's really easy. Uh, so you set up your serger and it's just two threads, which is nice. A lot less thread. Uh, so we have one thread that is going to go down below. It goes in through the lower looper, which acts like a bobbin down there. And then we have one that's in the upper and it's just going to be that upper thread. So it's just going to do two. Now I have two different threads just so that when I show you what it looks like, you'll see uh, kind of how that upper thread and that lower thread go, all right? So this is if, you know, you have all those scraps of batting. And you're like, I want to not throw this away. I want to use all my batting to put into more projects, right? So we're going to take just a straight edge, and it doesn't have to be super straight because there is a knife on here, and this knife is going to trim that edge while it stitches, all right? And then put it into the machine. I'm going to put that foot down, and so I have it set up. It's going to cut just a small chunk off, and we'll take this lovely foot control and make it come a little closer and work. So notice there's a little bit coming off of here. So if your batting's not quite straight, it's going to clean it up for you, which is great. going to come off. There's a cutter there and you can trim these ends when you're done. All right. So we just took a little, little bit off, just cleaned it up so that we have a nice straight line. So stitches like this. So we have one color, one side, one color, other side. This is the magic. This is what I love about the flat lock because it is named because if you just kind of give it a little pop, that seam is now flat. All right. So, and it just has a single line. So if you did a neutral color, it would blend right in. You wouldn't see it in your quilt. And this fabric, or fabric, this batting is now flat. So there is no lumps. You don't have to worry about it overlapping, anything like that. You just give it a nice tug. And it is now essentially got that batting right nestled up next to each other and then stitched it in this lovely, just flat lock seam. All right, so there's that red that was the one that was the lower and the navy that was the upper. And so, especially if you did neutral, you'd never know that seam was there and there's no real lumps or bumps and you're putting all that batting together. So you can start doing all kinds of scraps and putting it together nice and clean. So I know some of you were like, what were you talking about when you talked about flat lock? So I thought, you know, we'll just show you how that goes. Uh, the other thing we were talking about was quilt as you go. So, because I don't really want to bore you guys with trying to rethread this because you would want more than just two threads to put quilts together. But this is kind of what a quilt as you go would look like. So this is just a strip version. This is <laughs> Hey Boo. This fabric just came in. I'm in love with it. Um, if you've seen, I've probably done a whole bunch of pictures and things because I'm just in love. And you're actually putting all these pieces together with your batting as you go through your serger. So you can do it through your sewing machine. This is just with the serger, and then you can clean it up at the end, um, turn this into a placemat, or you could be doing full quilts if you wanted. Um, and so essentially what you're doing is taking strips of fabrics and batting, okay? The magic comes down to how you put it in the machine. So you will have your piece of batting, and then you will have layer it all it's going to be interesting so you may want to take notes if you're going to try this batting and then you have top fabric and your other top fabric right sides together then you have another piece of batting and then you have two pieces of backing right sides together and you just surge it all right because what's going to happen is you'll open it up you're going to open it so that you have your two top side pieces and then you're going to make sure you open the back side so you have your two backing pieces and then there's a piece of batting in this left side or probably your right side and then this would be your left side and then you're just going to keep continuing by then taking and adding the next set of pieces so that as you go you're just adding again and again and again. All right, so this is how it looks all nice and pressed. And like I said, so you have your top two pieces, your battings and your backing pieces. All right, so 
And I know if you don't follow the Bernina We All Soul blog, definitely go sign up for it. Because uh, I believe I peeked in the email today and they even talked about uh, Quilt As You Go. So they'll have a, a more detailed tutorial for you in their blog. And they just, they have a lot of good uh, projects and inspiration on how to do different techniques, all that kind of stuff. So I do, I like their blog. You don't have to have a Bernina to follow their blog if you maybe have a different brand. You can still do these techniques. You don't have to have this serger, whoops, as I touch it, uh, <laughs> change the screen. Uh, you don't have to have the Bernina serger to do this, this quilt as you go. All the sergers do, you know, three and four lock seams. You can do it on any brand. Uh, I just like this one because <laughs> it's super easy to thread. It's got as I said, the, the touch screen that, of course, is now not behaving for me. Um, and it has a guided mode and an expert mode. So the guided mode is great. So for the newbies that don't really know what they're doing, it will guide you through each seam that you're trying to do. It will give you step by step, uh, which I love. So it's telling you your tensions and all those kinds of things on the screen. So I do love that. Uh, so hopefully you've enjoyed uh, these two little ideas. Maybe you'll try that with your batting and go start doing some Franken batting, or uh, maybe it's convinced you that you too need a serger because it does way more than just close. You can do all kinds of things. You can do pillowcases in under 10 minutes. It's just, it's super fun. So if you have questions, feel free, come see us at the store, go to the quiltingmayhem.com website, uh, go to our Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, any of those, you can message us through just darn near anything. Um, and we'll gladly answer questions, help you out, or if you wanna come play on some machines, come see us and we'll gladly walk you through anything you have questions with. All right, I hope you have a lovely day. Keep on stitching.